This business started as an idea. My business started as an idea. Our business, business started, started as, as an, an idea. idea. My business started with an idea. Every day, a small enterprise in Botswana opens its door for business. From the makers of quality boots to the pig farmer in Tamara, these ventures form an integral part of a larger economic picture. These are the cornerstones of Botswana's future economic plans. These are the business ideas of Botswana that have developed into real enterprises, which provide jobs, develop skills, and contribute to the growth of the country. At the Local Enterprise Authority, we aim to empower local entrepreneurs to start and grow these businesses. The Local Enterprise Authority was established in 2004 after the Botswana government recognized the need to reevaluate and adapt their approach to SMME development. Well, before the establishment of LEA, we had quite a lot of activity uh, with regards to SMMEs, but it was all over the place. And we felt that there was need to have a coherent policy, a coherent strategy to make sure that we align all the activities regarding SMME development. Uh, to make sure that uh, we do have a focus area and we have a strategy and a vision and all the policies or the various activities that we have speak the same language and they're going in the same direction. It's early morning at Sunbeam Lodge. The staff are preparing the conference room for a banquet in the evening. This facility holds approximately 30 people at a time. This is impressive considering the humble background of this establishment. Equally impressive is the lodge itself. This is the 50 bedroom hotel that belongs to James Kosimang, an accountant turned hotelier. What started off as a dream to provide affordable accommodation has turned into a full fledged tourism business nestled in the heart of Mohoditsani. Sandbeam started as a, a family business. Actually, it's the brainchild of Mr. and Mrs. Kosima. And uh, we started this because we wanted to actually have a reliable source of income which will relieve us from depending on the formal employment. But I was coming from a poor family. I wanted to prove that uh, you, if you, are, you come from a poor family, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are, you are bound to be poor as well. You are not going to inherit poverty from your parents unless you decide to do so. Since becoming a Lear client, we've helped him secure the funding he needed to complete his hotel because we recognize his potential through his passion and existing efforts. For Lea, James Kosimang's business makes him a perfect candidate for our entrepreneurship development program. He represents one out of every five businesses that will ever make it to this stage in its life cycle. These are odds that Lea wants to increase and help even more businesses like Sunbeam Lodge by being at the forefront of SMME development in Botswana. The development of a vibrant SMME sector is vital to any country's economy. SMMEs represent a powerful engine for diversifying any economy. Supporting entrepreneurship in local communities is a proven, sustainable economic development strategy across the world. SMMEs are the biggest source of new jobs, presenting one of the best ways to positively impact the lives of many unemployed Botswana. Historically, in the education system was to develop people for, for formal employment. But uh, as time goes by, we realize that we have to look at diversifying our economy. And the backdrop of that is to develop small industries. And we, uh, this, the authority was set up, actually, to be able to do that. To the Ministry of Trade and Industry, Lea is seen as the implementer of SMME development and in terms of the government's broader economic policy to have an export-led economy, the organization's role is even greater. At the Lea head office, the executive management has been reviewing the challenges they faced in the past financial year. Over the last six years of existence, they've seen the SMME sector grow steadily. It has been a modest growth despite the inherent challenges of entrepreneurship and SMME development. A clever man's walking stick is a fool's experience. We looked at models both domestic and international. In terms of domestic, we looked at where we came from as a country and what our failures, if we can call them that, or challenges. Now, we looked at models um, of why FAP maybe was not as successful as we thought it would be as a country. 
and tried to actually close the gaps which were in there. The other thing that we did was to look at um, inter alia, uh, what other countries which are at the cutting edge of SME sector development are actually doing. Lear's strategy is driven by two main policies, namely the entrepreneurship policy and the SMME policy, established in the Small Business Act of 2004. The entrepreneurship policy seeks to instill a culture of entrepreneurship in recognition of the general lack of such culture among citizens of Botswana. Under this policy, LIA provides assistance to entrepreneurs during the pre-start period and three years thereafter. This is achieved through the introduction of critical interventions designed to increase the probability of success for these businesses. LIA recognizes that in order for local SMMEs to operate and survive, the business environment must be conducive. The SMME policy seeks to improve business and financial environments of SMMEs by intervening at a broader level, which includes facilitating access to markets, facilitating access to finance, national and international linkages, and other policy-related interventions. Uh, when we created the organization, we looked at what we had wished to become the main engines of growth of the economy of Botswana. And those were primarily agriculture, tourism, services, and manufacturing. Uh, manufacturing if and only if the inputs or raw materials were locally available, the expertise was locally available, because if you have the raw materials being here, then you are able to beneficiate more and build more jobs, contribute more towards the economy of this country, and also contribute more towards taxation in Botswana. Botswana's high import bill is LIA's most important reference point in determining key economic sectors for development. For example, horticulture, piggery, leather, and dairy imports are industries that Botswana entrepreneurs can explore immediately. For Nyana Motswane, pig farming has always been a passion. She started off as a chicken farmer 20 years ago, but moved to pig farming after realizing the potential returns from rearing pigs. After starting her operation, she quickly came to realize the complexities and challenges of running a pig farm. Pig farming is considerably more capital intensive than chicken farming. Eventually, these challenges brought about the realization that in order for her to make her farm profitable, she had to start thinking about it as a business. The money was going into the farm, but little was going out. It was time to turn to an expert. After the training, Whether you're a pig farmer or a furniture maker, the fact remains that you are in business. And as much as one may have the passion for whatever it is they decide to pursue, the reality is that it may not succeed as an enterprise. When an entrepreneur approaches LIA for intervention, we follow our own custom end-to-end -end business processes. These processes, outlined in our entrepreneurship development policy, mitigate against the factors that would hamper the development and potential growth of a business idea. There needs to be certain interventions before a business even starts. And those are critical and key in the sense that they determine the future success of the business. In Khabaroni, Dima Kwati Apostles are preparing an order for a major corporate client. They've come a long way since they started their business under a tree four years ago. For these two partners, the challenge was how to turn the skills they had acquired as Apostles into a real business. No, I No, I because we tell our business around the market, the company, the 
and the Ronaka Pan Real Latin, Totan Real Lagatsar. So sometimes I'm a real, let's say we write couch and a stool we have. So let's say we want to go. More you really got to start. Good Motong Honoya Sahela, just because Hona a building, a real and deep. After passing Leah's screening process, Dimakati completed the rest of Leah's customized intervention program. They were given basic entrepreneurship training, which was followed by an intensive review and consolidation of their business plan. By the time we were talking about the business plan, that's when the regular direct business plan was going to be. We were to talk about the business plan. With their newly acquired business skills, it was time for them to operate their business in a manner and environment conducive to providing a competitive service. Leah recently established business incubator facilities in several sites around Botswana. There are currently four in operation, the first being the Pilani Multi Incubator, the Francis Town Incubator, the Habarone Leather Incubator, where Dilo Makwati have currently found a home, and the horticulture incubator. These incubation facilities are designed to assist businesses to become better established during the startup phase through an array of business support, resources, and services. Business incubators are forms of an advanced business model adopted by LEA to assist SMMEs' chances of survival and to accelerate their growth. Today, the Glen Valley Horticulture Incubator has a special visitor. Leah has invited delegates from its parent ministry, which is the Ministry of Trade and Industry, to come and experience firsthand what the farmers are producing at this world-class incubation facility. In attendance with the Assistant Minister of Trade and Industry, Honorable Vincent Sorrent, is the Minister of Agriculture, the Honorable Christian de Graaf, whose ministry is a key stakeholder to Leah. This is more than just a tour. It's an example of Leah's commitment to lobby for government support for its initiatives and to show that indeed the Botswana SMME sector is growing. The Glen Valley Horticulture Incubator has a capacity to house 14 farmers, all producing tomatoes. The incubator has three types of production methods, being the greenhouse, tunnels, and net house technology. The farmers within the Glen Valley Incubator have formed a cluster to allow them to compete effectively due to better access to information and specialized resources, flexibility and rapid adoption and adaptation of innovations and interventions. Most importantly, the cluster will be responsible for group marketing of the incubator's products, as well as ensuring timely and consistent delivery of products to market. Dima Kwati have been housed at the leather incubator for the past year. For the next three years, they will enjoy subsidized rent and the constant supervision of a business advisor. Uh, the near incubation process takes a period of three years, which has been seen to be an ample time for a business to be brought from where it is and to be able to grow in multiple. The small business that used to operate under a tree will now become a proper upholsterer with a place to operate and most importantly, the right tools to make it sustainable. This is the story of Leah's business end-to-end -end process where an idea becomes a real business ready to open its doors to the public. Across the country in Leah's 13 branches, the men and women who help the organization to achieve its objectives are hard at work. Clients currently enrolled in Leah's end-to-end -end business processes require constant attention. Operating from the branches allows the organization to reach a wider population and cater to unique demands of each registered business. Erikson Gaho has always loved to till the land. His passion is for the business of farming. When he quit his teaching job to become a full-time farmer, he knew that it wasn't going to be an easy road. Farming in Botswana is a difficult profession. Besides the unpredictable rains, access to arable land on a scale large enough to make a significant contribution to the sector is hard to come by. Fortunately for an aspiring horticultural farmer, the Botswana government's economic diversification drive identifies their sector as being key to its developmental goals. And access to funds and of course business mentorship is readily available. Through its 13 nationwide branches, LIA is able to help the government realize its goal by having men and women on the ground and in close proximity to the far-flung businesses. 
for Leah advisor Wahu Mutsapaledi, her work with Seed Time Farm has been an especially rewarding experience. You know, we are there to support our clients at all times. The client sometimes will feel that, you know, things are not going his way, he's despondent and he doesn't know what to do. As a client, he would come here and want to discuss those things. And um, it was important that, you know, we encourage him, you know, we give him the training that he needs so that he doesn't fail when he gets to his project when he started. We introduce him to different clients who've also been there that can advise him, um, show him different ideas on how to do things. We've got all these people and all the staff which is there to assist our clients in any way. Getting access to Leah's services has helped Nkaho steer his farming business in the right direction. His relationship with his advisor, who is based in the Bolapolula branch, has become key in helping him overcome the hurdles he faces, as well as creating a vision of how the business can grow. The branches around the country are Leah's arms, which are at the forefront of entrepreneurship development. Staffed with knowledgeable people and resourced with facilities, they serve as a reliable reference point for businesses that are starting or already operating. As another day ends, businesses across the country add up their profits and losses and shut down for the night. For many, their future is a precarious one. And for some, like our Leah clients, they face the challenge ahead with the confidence, support and knowledge gained from a partnership forged with the local enterprise authority. They now have the right tools to make their businesses work. Real businesses are not formed from thin air and go on to flourish. They are the fruition of ideas that have been nurtured through passion, hard work and sacrifice. And most importantly, the development of sound business skills. At the Local Enterprise Authority, we welcome individuals with ideas.